Welcome back. We have got 30 ECC frames, CGC or graded comic frames from a company called ECC Frames. So there's a lot of different frame companies that you can get for your wall mounted graded books or your raw books. We went with ECC. Uh, shout out Mint Hunter Comics YouTube. Go subscribe to him if you haven't already. And we have I'm, per his recommendation, bought 30 of these frames. We're going to unbox these, check these out, see if they are as quality as I think they are. Spent a good bit of money um, getting these frames. These were all made um, recently, and apparently the prices are going up uh, due to uh, material costs. So if you can, buy these now, and if you can, buy them in bulk, because they will give you a discount if you do. Without further ado, let's bust in this box and let's see if they're as quality as as much they cost. So this is how the frames are shipped. Um, it was actually in a tighter, denser box than I thought they'd be. Um, basically just individually wrapped very, very carefully. A lot of bubble wrap. Pretty secure. Pretty impressed with the shipping. And it was free shipping as well. So this is what the package looks like when you open it up. So these nice metal frames cut very well. There's a few little metal shavings and shards you kind of got to be careful with. They say to wipe it down in the instructions. You've got these clear plastic spacers and then all your brackets. So you actually screw these. Um, it's not like a screw hole. Like It's basically just creating pressure between the two metal joints. And it took me forever to kind of figure out how to do this but the instructions were decent but it's an incredible finished product here is what you are going to get it's actually a lot thicker than you think it's going to be it comes with two sliding brackets um, on the back we we just used one for our mounting uh, but you, you could do two if you want to make it extra secure and it gets these little plastic um, bumpers on the bottom so that when it rests up against your wall that black doesn't scuff your wall up Okay, so we decided to go three rows, uh, two inches apart in between each of the frames. I wanted to get as much on the wall as I possibly could without it looking too congested. And I just want it to look like, you know, you were going to a convention or you go into a shop and, you know, you saw all these on the wall. It, it turned out so, so awesome. You can really see the shine, the gloss. They look like they're in Mylar. Um, you know, we have some reflection issues because we have so many so many lights in the ceiling, but I mean, it it, it it looks incredible. So the Legos in the foreground may go, they may not. We got the omnibus below. Looks good. All right, everybody, we got it all pieced together. This is the slab wall. So this is one of the the things that really pushed for this this downstairs move, giving us all this additional wall space. We've got 29 graded books in ECC frames and then we have one extra frame I, we're gonna stick this somewhere Hellboy got cut unfortunately but um wow this is a bit of a process took us a couple hours two or three hours to get all the books framed and then at least two or three hours to mount them couldn't have done it without my my wife she helped me a lot mount, mounting and framing and Putting things on the wall is, is very complicated, I, I didn't realize. But um, yeah, so this is kind of what I wanted to do as an alternative shot to the statue shot. So ECC frames, I'm sure that's why everyone is here watching. This is an awesome product. So um, as of right now, I bought these in at the end of 2021. They only come in black and they come in this metallic black um, almost it's matte more matte black frame this is a quality product but it's not cheap every single one of these frames MSRP for $45 and according to uh, the staff members at ECC the prices are going up I guess according to um, you know material costs anything metal uh, apparently in 2022 is is going to increase you know, you get the pieces, and then you get these these uh, these stabilizers, these 
these little clear pieces of plastic on the inside. We didn't use any of that, okay? Um, these frames do not hold uh, oversized square bound books. Okay, so they do not hold these square bound books. This is an oversized square bound book, Batman, Harley Quinn, not numbered, um, origin of first appearance of Harley Quinn in uh, DC universe continuity, Alex Ross cover. This, this book, you know, I wanted to have this up on the wall and I wanted to have others uh, similar to this. So when CGC, um, you know, encapsulates these books, they have different size uh, cases. Everything you see on the wall is a single issue comic, like a standard page, uh, standard size paper, you know, regular comic paper book. None of those are the square bound books. And unfortunately, some of my favorite covers are square bound books, specifically First Appearance of Bane, uh, Dark Knight Returns, um, Killing Joke. All of those books I wanted to put up, but as I was trying to slide them in there, it, it wouldn't go. So I was thinking those clear spacers would like, I don't know, spread the frame out or give me additional space. No, they actually make the frame tighter. So I don't know what book would fall under that category of uh, needing those to, to get that additional tightness in the frame. They all fit fine. So when, when you're looking at this, there is some slight movement and you can hear it, hear it there. It, it does move a little bit, but this is secure, okay? This is, this is very secure and the awesome part about it is it shows the back of the book if you wanted to, to look at the back and it, it puts the focus back on the art of the book. A lot of the critiques of uh, CGC encapsulation is, you know, that white grading really pops out, you know, as opposed to the CBCS grading, uh, those encapsulations, you know, it's, it's, it's in that blue and then there's black lettering or black numbers. It almost makes you draws your eye towards the art first. I think these frames do that exactly, but you still have the benefit of seeing your grade and that's, that's the coolest part. So, um, this is a this is a fantastic product. It is very expensive. So, f funny enough, I bought these for myself. My wife bought the Amazon option, um, and I'll I'll show a show a picture of that here. Or the brand is escaping me. That was an alternative option, much cheaper, um, much uh, more uh, you know accessible, but you're not getting near the quality of these frames. I mean, this is, this is solid. I'm hoping, and this is, this is a concern is, does this, does this company ever go out of business? Does this company, you know, stop providing this product? And that is a concern, especially if, you know, you're somebody you're getting like two or three of these frames, you want to try it out. And then, um, oh, it's like, oh, okay, I love this. I want to get more of these. Well, if they're out of business. So I don't know. They, Apparently, ECC used to sell on Amazon. You have to go to eccframes.com um, to order from them. Awesome customer service. Prompt uh, communication back. Super impressed with that. Super friendly and willing to make a deal. So I got these at a discounted rate for buying in bulk. So I bought 30 frames. Um, you know, I got $5 off every single frame. So... That was very nice. Guys, what do you guys think? Are you going to buy ECC frames? Are you are you wanting to mount your books on the wall? This is this is a game changer. Like as they were going up, it was it was almost like you see the books in a different light. It it becomes when something goes up on the wall, it almost becomes art, like a different kind of art. Um, you have a different appreciation. You get that gloss of the encapsulation. You get that that matte, not um, you know, not eye catching black border. It's just basically silhouettes. Why you're doing this? Why you're getting the this this frame? It's it's silhouetting your art. I love them. 
I would buy more, but I think I've got enough of them. Guys, thank you guys for watching. If at any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Plan on doing our CGC um, unboxings in the future, our, our comic talks, our uh, you know um, unboxings probably from this angle. Maybe do statue uh, reviews, statue unboxings. Uh, you know, I, I, with a different angle, with the with the statues in the background, just trying to give you guys uh, different shots, different dynamics, because I want you guys to have an awesome experience when you're watching Sticky Use Comics. Take care.